Okay, number eight, um, and actually probably one of the most important, so if I lost you here, listen up, um, reasons, the eighth reason that a lot of people don't stick to their fitness routine is that they are solely using the scale to track their success, okay? Now, I'm sure if you've been in my planet for long enough, you've heard me talk about how, you know, you can't just use the scale. That's going to be a point of diminishing returns. And while, yes, for some people, um, this will motivate them for a while, it's going to stop. It's not going to go down all the time. And when it stops and you hit a plateau, I'm not trying to lose any weight right now. Does that mean I stop doing what I'm doing? No, it means that I'm still working on certain body parts that I want to like improve or grow or, you know, make sure that they stay where they're at as I age, right? And they don't droop and sag and like, you know, uh, gravity and, and the process of aging are going to take it down. That's why I keep doing it, right? If I kept going just because, or if I use the scale as the reason why, well, I'm, I'm only going to keep going if the scale is moving, then I would have quit a long time ago because I've been at this weight for, you know, probably the better part of a year within, you know, five, five ish pounds. So when you're using just the scale, that is so demotivating at some point. In the beginning, it's great. You see a little whoosh. And then we see consistently if a girl, a client hits a plateau, they stress out and they just like, they want to stress eating or they backslide on their diet or they, you know, start to get a little less serious about getting to their workouts and things like that. So some things that I want you to think about when it comes to your routine and staying consistent with it is there are other ways to remind yourself to keep going, right? Um, your strength, how's your strength doing in the gym? Are you getting stronger? Are your clothes fitting better? Do you have more energy? Are you sleeping better? Is your mood improved? Are you less of a biatch, right? <laughs> like you're, you're able to handle your stress. Um, is your libido improving, right? How is your spicy time? Is that feeling, are you feeling more confident doing that, right? Um, less aches and pains, more mobility. Those things are the side effect of your efforts. And a lot of times those go unnoticed and not stressed upon as how important those are because guess what, friends? Those improve the quality of your life. And the scale is going to do what it does. It's going to go like this. It's not going to go like this all the time. And the sooner that you can um, anchor your routine to the way you feel, the more consistent you, you will be with your routine and, your, and getting your results. Okay? Take pictures, take measurements, use a pair of pants that maybe are a little snug if you want to check your progress consistently um, in another way besides the scale. Okay, so those are always great. And progress photos are hands down my favorite. Um, okay, the ninth reason, we're going to wrap this up here, um, is, here, here just a second, the ninth, ninth reason is you don't celebrate your small wins. Now, this is super important, right? Um, because what we see is a lot of women are like, oh, well, I only lost two pounds this week. That's a lot, okay? And I know a lot of people don't think that, and they're like, oh, that's not very much. To lose a pound of fat, you have to have shaved 3,500 calories off of your body in some way, shape, or form over time um, through either your diet or exercise or something like that. That's a lot, right? That That's a lot for you to drop is a pound. So think about when you, you're going through your journey and you're like, oh, I only lost two pounds, but I want you to think about how many habits that you've changed and you've stuck to and celebrate those things, those small wins, um, any, you know, mindset battles you had to go through with yourself, <laughs> um, to get where you're at and celebrate it. Like, you know, journaling is super important and acknowledging that, um, you know, I don't care if it's only five pounds, right? Like get happy about that and celebrate that, especially if you have a hard time sticking to a routine. Now, don't celebrate by 
saying like, oh, I deserve a cheat meal because I lost a pound, right? Um, that is another failed way to, or another way to continue to stay stuck um, is when you celebrate with food, right? Or, or um, celebrate your workouts or whatever, like, oh, I deserve this treat or whatever, right? Celebrate with non-food items, right? Like get yourself a new shirt, a new tank top, a new this or whatever, or treat yourself to a new book or a candle or a massage or something like that. If you feel like you need that little bit of like reward for your efforts versus some kind of food treat, right? Because that also tends to start to bring in some unhealthy like food behaviors that are associated with exercise. So that is another reason to not do that. Okay. Okay.